How does jackknife compare to bootstrap? If you have ever wondered how to popular statistical methods stack up against each other, you are in for a treat. Today, we will compare jackknife estimation and bootstrap methods in the context of inferential statistics. Both techniques are resampling methods used to estimate the variability of a statistic, but they have different approaches and applications. Let's start with the basics. The jackknife method works by systematically leaving out one observation from the sample at a time. This means if you have 10 data points, you will create 10 smaller samples, each missing one of those points. For each of these samples, you recalculate the statistic you are interested in. This produces a set of jackknife replicates that help estimate the standard error and bias of the statistic. On the other hand, the bootstrap method takes a different route. It involves drawing random samples with replacement from the original data. This means you can select the same observation multiple times in a single sample. Each bootstrap sample is the same size as the original data set, and you recalculate the statistic for each sample. This process generates a distribution of bootstrap replicates that can be used to estimate standard errors, bias, and confidence intervals. Now let's compare some key features of these two methods. When it comes to applicability and accuracy, Jackknife works well for smooth statistics like the mean. However, it struggles with non-smooth statistics, such as the median. Bootstrap, in contrast, is more flexible and can handle a wider variety of statistics, including nonlinear ones. In terms of computational aspects, Jackknife is simpler and faster. It only requires recalculating the statistic n times, where n is the sample size. Bootstrap, however, is more computationally intensive because it often requires hundreds or thousands of resamples. When we look at variability and bias, jackknife samples tend to be very similar to the original sample. This can lead to smaller differences between replicates, which means the standard error formula needs an adjustment factor. Bootstrap samples, however, vary more due to random resampling, capturing the statistics variability better. This often results in lower variance and more stable confidence intervals. Speaking of confidence intervals, Bootstrap is generally preferred for constructing them. It does not assume that the sampling distribution is normal, allowing it to capture asymmetry and other features of the distribution. Jackknife confidence intervals relying more on assumptions of normality, which may not hold true for small samples or complex statistics. Lastly, let's touch on repeatability. Jackknife results are deterministic, meaning they will be the same for a given dataset. Bootstrap results can vary slightly with each run due to random resampling, although this variability decreases with more bootstrap samples. In practical applications, Jackknife is great for estimating the mean or other smooth statistics quickly. When dealing with more complex statistics, Bootstrap offers a more robust approach. Both methods are essential tools in measurement and data analysis, helping to quantify uncertainty and improve the reliability of statistical estimates. So, whether you choose Jackknife or Bootstrap depends on your specific needs and the type of statistics you are working with. Each method has its strengths and can provide valuable information in the realm of inferential statistics.